2019, as we all know, um, coronavirus, the coronavirus hit us, uh, and it has had a devastating impact on the world economy. Uh, as you know, it started in China. Uh, generally, uh, its impact has been very pervasive. It's cut across all sectors uh, and all countries worldwide. Uh, the estimation is that the world economy is going to grow by a minuscule 1.5% uh, uh, because of the impact of this particular virus. So it's going to have an impact on growth. Uh, it has had a huge impact on employment uh, because of the lockdowns and the responses that each country has had to the, to the virus. Uh, in America alone, in the last week, they had 6.6 .6 million joblessness claims. Uh, following uh, a whole 700,000 job losses. So it has a huge impact worldwide, whether it's on growth, whether it's on uh, employment. Um, we have seen central banks everywhere and governments responding, putting a lot of money into uh, business, uh, putting a whole lot of um, uh, measures. The US has put two trillion in order to support businesses and employees. Um, Europeans have done the same all over. We've seen governments come in with quantitative easing and uh, uh, mitigatory factors, uh, funds that they're putting in, in to try and mitigate the impact of the virus. Uh, central banks have reduced interest rates so that they can spare demand for goods and services. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's had a huge impact all over. In addition to that, uh, just, just trying to narrow down to which sectors are affected and which ones are not, we've seen a huge impact on the, in particular, the airline and the travel and tourism sector, a uh, huge impact. Arrivals have reduced by 50, 60%. We've seen a huge impact on the automotive sector. Uh, they say that in China alone, uh, car sales have come down by 86%. Uh, that's how big it has been. Uh, manufacturing businesses, especially those that are manufacturing for non-essential goods, who are asked to lock down, um, are, are reeling as we speak. Um, on the other spectrum, on the other extreme, we've seen businesses that have uh, benefited from this. For, as, for example, the health sector will benefit. Uh, we've seen also other sectors like the ICT sector, like ourselves, are going to benefit because people are working from home and they are needing more connectivity uh, and more devices in their home in order to keep going. So it, there's a whole spectrum of, um, uh, uh, in terms of the impact on, on different sectors that we've seen. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, it is with us, it's going to affect uh, all businesses to varying extents uh, and let's brace up for it.